All right, folks, today I'm bringing you the Louis 200 New York, the Louis Vuitton 200 project. It's an art culture initiative created to honor the 200th birthday of Louis Vuitton's namesake founder. So this is in New York City, uh, 660 Madison is the address, which is 61st and Madison, the former Barney's retail shop which is now being occupied by Louis Vuitton for this trunk show. Louis Vuitton was born on the 4th of August, 1821. He died 27th of February, 1892. He was the founder of Louis Vuitton brand of leather goods, which is now owned by LVMH. Prior to opening his own brand in 1854, he was appointed as the trunk maker to the wife of Napoleon III in 1886, he revolutionized luggage locks with an ingenious closing system that turned travel trunks into a real treasure chest. For this Louis 200 celebration, dubbed 200 trunks and 200 visionaries, the image, the visual image director, of Louis Vuitton, in the top 200 individuals from across the globe. At the top of their games in a field like art, science, sports, and other professions, and gave them a carte blanche to reimagine trunks with their distinctive and imaginative viewpoints. Right, so follow me as we tour this three floors of this beautiful, spectacular uh, trunks that are that will blow your mind. Let's go. Right. What is this about? So this trunk opens and closes by itself. It's a take on a futuristic trunk. The goal is for us to start thinking about trunks having futuristic properties such as opening and closing on its own, packing itself, traveling by itself, and things like that. It is open to interpretation because if you look on the inside, mm -hmm. um, you, you'll see you cannot pack anything in there. Mm -hmm. But the goal is for us to start thinking about trunks having futuristic properties. Not so this is a third floor exhibition of Louis Vuitton trunks. See, it's very colorful, the V. So this trunk sh show started from France, it's been to Singapore, it's been to LA, and now it's it is in New York City, and this will be the last stop. So if you are in town, try and you know, get there and try and go see it by 31st December. When the exhibition closes on the 31st of December, all the pieces will be auctioned off and the proceeds and diamond scholarships for struggling young creatives from disadvantaged communities in 13 countries. It should also be known that Louis Vuitton promises to give 10,000 euros for each of the 200 trunks to 15 international non-profit organizations.
Extract this color for this player over here. That's nice. Yeah, I'm doing a video. Um, who, who was the artist with this? Yeah, this, this, this? Now glass and it's cemented over. Okay. But these are all glass. Yeah. Okay. So we're making our way into a different room right now. Like I said, it's three floors of exhibition. What should it say this year? In 660 Madison, the former Barney's, Barney's um, store. This black trunk wrapped in leather straps was based on Houdini's trunk escape by Peter Marino, who is an architect. Peter Marino's trunk is made in such a way that even Houdini can't escape, according to Peter. <laughs>
This is an India themed trunk made from glass bricks by Jean Michel Othoniel, a French artist. In the basement is the residency project, a new space that brings Louis Vuitton's in-house creatives on site. Citizens, we've come to the end of this amazing, spectacular, colorful trunk show. I hope you, you have enjoyed it. So tell a friend to tell a friend that this show is running until the 31st of December. And everybody should go and see it. Thanks for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.